I'm standing at the current Welcome Center, which has been the Welcome Center for more than 20 years. But if I pan my camera over just a little bit, you'll see where the new Welcome Center will be right next door. We're just trying to revitalize our downtown and put these old buildings to use. For two and a half years, Lions Main Street director Daphne Walker says they've been hard at work making this project come to life. This is our largest project. This three story brick building has a long history. This was a car and auto shop. So we redid the floors. You can still see some paint and oil stains in the floors. And Walker says at one point it was a space the Shriners used. Most recently, it housed the Altamaha Heritage Museum. Walker says the museum didn't really get a lot of attention, though, because they could only be open for short periods of time. By making this move, we can have a museum open all the time. Walker says they will be able to expand the operating hours because the Welcome Center Main Street offices in the museum will share the new building and be staffed every day. I have a few uh, sets that will be permanent, like my moonshine steel, um, the turpentine exhibit, and a giant barn lane. Walker says the other exhibits will rotate so people can experience something new each time they come. I'm hoping that we can get some local history and pictures that we can add in and really uh, give, give this community somewhere to go and uh, learn and and share. Walker says they've done $130,000 in renovations so far. This project, she says, is thanks to the success of some of the city's biggest events, including the Soapbox Derby and the Real Squeal Barbecue and Music Festival. Funds that we um, receive from hosting these events we pour back into the community. If you're wanting to check it out, Walker says they will be all moved in by the end of March. Now, as for the old Welcome Center, it'll be up to the Lions Downtown Development Authority to decide what it'll be used for. In Lions, Mariah Congito, WTOC News.